Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Miroslava Dergilova, and I am an admission manager at St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Today, I am delighted to present to you our university and give a supportive guide on admission procedure in our university. Uh, St. Petersburg is the second largest city uh, in Russia. And uh, that's why I would uh, appreciate you with the information about our admission procedure. So let's see our presentation first. Uh, St. Petersburg is the second largest city in Russia. It's rightfully called the cultural capital of Russia. Here you will find more than 300 museums and around 70 theaters. University's locations make it easy to explore the city and enjoy it at any time of the year. They are easy to access by public transport and are usually within walking distance of metro stations. Uh, located in the cultural capital of Russia, St. Petersburg, the university has a beautiful campus with all necessary facilities. Uh, on the slide, uh, you can see the campus of our university. As you can see, the campus area includes a large polytechnic park, a spot complex, and dormitories. The academic buildings are located close to the dormitory, so you won't have to spend much time traveling to classes. Within walking distance from any point of the campus, they are public transport stops and four metro stations. The campus and its buildings are equipped with cameras and a security system. All international students are provided with dormitories. The dormitories are located near the educational buildings and public transportation. SPBPU offers shared rooms for international students where three or four students can live in one room. Our university is ranked at the top of the world's rankings for the quality of uh, training specialists. SPBPU consists of 11 institutes divided according to areas of study. The university's faculties and departments are staffed with highly qualified professors and researchers who are dedicated to providing students with a world-class education. The university and students of SPBPU are known for their achievements and we would like to showcase the latest ones. The university also hosts international conferences and workshops, fostering a global network of research and innovation. SPBPU offers a bright and interesting student life with a wide range of extracurricular activities, clubs, and organizations. At Polytech, students can find something special according to their interests – music, acting, robotics, dance, sports, and much more. In their free time, students can participate in various events of joining the International Students Club Poly Union, where you can socialize with other students and spend time together and also learn new languages. A volunteer community has been created specifically for international students, which help first-year students adapt to university life. If you need assistance with airport pickup, guidance to university departments to help with adaptation, you will be definitely be assisted. Polytechnic University has a developed infrastructure and we recommend getting involved in the university's social life. There are many students clubs based on interest, opportunities for scientific research as well as the chance to attend concerts, visit museums or engage in sports. Now we will talk about education at SPBPU. Our university offers more than 400 educational programs of different levels of education in Russian and English. The University Foundation programs, bachelor's and master's programs in Russian and English. Uh, SPBPU has strong ties with leading universities around the world, offering students the opportunity to participate in exchange programs and study abroad. For students who wish to learn Russian uh, language there, the University Foundation programs. We offer uh, different profiles, engineering, economics, humanities, depending on the future speciality. The training starts this fall. The university offers uh, a wide range of programs for the training of bachelor's and master's degree in such areas as engineering, IT and intelligence systems, physics, natural sciences, economics, social and humanitarian sciences. 
among the bachelor's programs, programs in management, business and economics, which are fully taught in English, occupy an important place. SPBPU offers a wide range of international master's degree programs in English, uh, in engineering, IT technologies, natural sciences, economics, management and humanities. For those who wish to continue their education in graduate school, Polytechnic University offers training in various fields of scientific activity. Mathematics, computer science, physical sciences, mechanical engineering, electronics, chemical technologies, and others. To apply for any PhD program, you take a language exam and undergo an interview with a potential supervisor. The academic year for PhD students um, starts on October the 1st. Using QR codes, you can find detailed information about the admission procedure for each uh, every track into the bachelor's, master's and PhD programs. Please note the tuition fee uh, information for the 2025-2026 academic year has been updated on our website. You can currently refer to the prices of this year. Uh, preliminary testing or exams can be taken till August 2025. The academic year will begin on September the 1st. Uh, you can be enrolled at Polytech for both paid and fee education. Uh, to be enrolled as a self-funded student, you need to fill out uh, an application form online and take uh, entrance exams. Um, so, uh, you can submit your documents uh, through the online application system of SPBPU. The application period lasts till August 2025. Uh, now, let's uh, look through the admission process step by step. First, um, you need to fill out an application uh, form online uh, and you can submit your application starting right now. Uh, you have to upload all necessary documents, I mean passport and educational documents with grades, uh, to your personal account, then submit the application and wait for the manager to get in touch with you in the chat box of the online application system. If your documents and your application approved, you will be allowed to take an online entrance exams. When you have passed the exams and received confirmation of admission to the university, you will receive a visa invitation. Then you have to apply for a student visa and come to SPPU to complete the enrollment procedure. Upon arrival at the university, you should get medical insurance, sign a contract and pay for the first semester of tuition. You will become a student and can extend your visa and apply for educational documents evaluation. Exams are taken in a convenient online format using a computer and a camera. Appli applicants will need to select the uh, exam dates in uh, their personal account and wait for their coordinator uh, to approve uh, their choice. The list uh, of entrance tests can be seen on this screen. Uh, pay attention to the expiration date of your uh, passport. This is important to know before submitting documents for visa invitation. After successfully passing the exams, you will receive an electronic visa invitation to apply for a student visa. You can obtain a single entry visa upon arrival and extend it for a year and six months at the university. Uh, SPBPU is a state university, national research university. The diploma of Polytechnic University is recognized in Russia and abroad, so you don't have to worry about legalizing documents uh, in your country. Before coming to study in Russia, it's very important to legalize your educational documents and bring the originals to the university. You can find out if you need to legalize your educational documents from your manager. Overall, Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University is a top choice uh, for students looking to pursue a career in engineering and technology. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, uh, you can uh, learn more about SPPPU and ask questions uh, via QR code on the screen. So, and now it's high time to present you our special guest for today. We invited an international student uh, for our meeting today. So, hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. 
Uh, welcome. Uh, so, what is your name? Where come you from? My name is Anas Ahmed, and I come from Pakistan. That's great. Yeah. Uh, so, can you tell us about your experience in our university? Well, I like to start from the beginning. So, the thing is, I started this application process for you know Open Door Olympics scholarship after my graduation. Then I got this scholarship. Then I had this opportunity, you know, to apply for different universities. So I had three options. So I put this university, which is named St. Peter's Polytechnic University, as my first. And the reason behind it was because I was interested in masters in civil engineering, and it's particularly in English. So this university was one of the best universities, and I would say the best technical university in Russia, which are offering this course. So that was the reason I chose this program. I'm now I'm, I'm currently pursuing my master's in civil engineering in at Polytech. Okay, I can agree with you. Uh, is it difficult to study at Polytech? Well, I would say no, not at all. Because you know, if I compare it with my bachelor's, so it's not difficult at all. You know, professor are very friendly, and the atmosphere is so good that no, it's not difficult at all. I would say. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite subject? Uh, I would say my favorite subject is BIM, which stands for Building Information Modeling. So it's basically related to construction management using advanced construction tools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that it's difficult to adapt to our conditions in this country because uh, we have different different cultures. Uh, can you tell me, do you have friends here in our uni? Was it difficult to get in touch with someone? I would say definitely. This was the, I would say the best part, what I like about Russia, that I would tell you that even in my dormitory or in on my floor, on the ninth floor, there are more than 11 nationalities living. So it's so diverse culture. You, you know, go in the kitchen, you meet people from South America, Arab nation. So it's so, you know, cool to interact with people. And this is the beauty of Russia, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have some extra curricular activities? Yeah, I, I work out daily. So this is my, and I also play basketball with my friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are also international students. Yeah, they're, they're from China and we're from Vietnam. Okay, I see. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, it was <laughs> nice and my welcome pleasure. you. Uh, so, and now it's uh, high time to answer the questions from our international students who wish study here at Polytech. Uh, okay, so when the visa issuing process would uh, uh, initiate it for open doors winners? So it's a really popular question because uh, we have already answered uh, all uh, questions about open doors uh, scholarship uh, for a previous um, meeting. Uh, but I should say that um, you can contact our managers who worked with you uh, while processing your documents and uh, ask all necessary questions about it from uh, QR code that uh, we showed um, on previous slides. Um, so which city airport will be economical to choose for arrival uh, in uh, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University? Uh, I should say that we have only one airport, it's Pulkova, uh, and uh, it's easy to uh, commute to our university from uh, Pulkova airport. Um, Mm, can you tell me about scholarship full uh, funded? Um, please know that we do not have uh, full funded uh, scholarships, uh, but you will get it monthly uh, to cover your um, ex uh, daily uh, expenses. Mm -hmm. The next one. Are there any marketing courses? Of course, we provide such marketing courses and you can uh, choose it uh, while uh, filling out the application form online and you can choose uh, this track 
of studying. We have uh, three international programs in English, if uh, you mean bachelor's degree programs. It's international trade, uh, it's uh, digital uh, enterprise, and um, international marketing, international business. Uh, do you have pay all the school fee before starting school? Uh, so you can do it after arrival. Uh, you arrive to the university, uh, you prepare all necessary documents, uh, and then you can pay your tuition fee. How much is the hostel accommodation fee? Um, unfortunately, I cannot provide this information, but you can contact me via my email address and I will find all necessary information you need here. How much is the school fee for language program? Uh, it's the same uh, as uh, in previous year. It uh, uh, costs uh, 250,000 rubles per academic year. Uh, do I have to notarize my passport and translate it in Russian? Um, as I have already mentioned, uh, you need to prepare a set of documents uh, for uh, our Center of Evaluation uh, Educational Documents. So you need to prepare a set of documents with official, I mean notarized um, translation of your diploma, of your school certificate, transcript, uh, and uh, your passport. So I think that uh, it's enough. If you have uh, more questions, you can ask me uh, via my email address or scan QR code uh, while our presentation. So thank you very much. I wish you good luck and I hope I'll see you as an applicant and uh, as a current student at our university. So bye from now. Bye.